Hello and welcome to the other Charlotte Roval <laughs> in the Formula V. So, uh, this is the infield road course long, <laughs> I guess. Uh, it's it's names it the Legends Roval, I guess, or uh, you know road course. And uh, we're in the Formula V. So I haven't been uh, doing a bunch of um, haven't been doing a bunch of the Mazda and Formula V rookie races lately because I've already done them multiple times on the channel and I just I feel like I don't need to upload yet another you know Mazda at Tsukuba again you know what I mean and uh, you know so I haven't been having as many races in the, uh, these cars but I don't have uh, any videos on the channel of me attempting this course with the Formula V so I figured alright I'll go ahead and record this one and uh, it's because they don't come here quite as often. It's a very bizarre track. <laughs> it, it really is. I mean, uh, it's not. I don't think I've ever seen it in any other series other than Formula V. And probably for good reason. I mean, I'll just let you take a look at it here. I mean, we'll, we'll get the tour as they do my qualifying laps here. But uh, strange, strange place. <laughs> Taking this first uh, lap kind of easy. This is a warm up lap. I don't think it starts counting yet. So, just uh, getting a good view of it. I did practice, of course. Got my breaking points down, I think. It's very difficult. A lot of these tight corners uh, are very difficult on the cold tires, so we'll have to watch out for that. You drive through the pit road here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And this is just a terrifying corner. Uh, going in with other people. You can't. It's just straight up. You cannot go too wide through here. That's not even me suggesting like, yeah, it's a bad idea. Like, I don't I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a really bad wreck point. Once the race starts. Let me just say that. First lap, it can be absolute chaos. So, looking forward to that. I kind of wanted to qualify just to maybe try to be in front of the big check up there. I don't think there's a good place to be on the track uh, at the start of a race like here. And that first corner, too, can be a big, uh, ugly mess <laughs> on the cold tires. Get several people spinning out. And uh, just because people, you know, the cars don't go here very often, you got a lot of people that are not very experienced with it, with this track, so... Get a little bit slower lap times in general, it seems like. Uh, it should be an interesting one. So, uh, I kind of both love and hate this place. I kind of like it because it is quite interesting. One more lap. And uh, I feel like I have decent pace through here most of the time. But, I, it's very scary to race along with people. There's like not too many places to pass. So it's uh, it makes for some uh, very interesting racing. You can be real brave and go through there real quick, but obviously if you like hook your tire on the tire on the tire tire wall <laughs> as you're going by, like it gets ripped off, and well, that's not good for your fast lap, now is it? So so just very interesting. Lots of places where things can go wrong on this uh, on this course. A lot of corners you don't even break for, you kind of just uh, are rolling around in third gear. Messed up my angles there a little bit, but we're fine. You can take this flat out if you hit it just right, but I didn't there. I kind of hit the curb a little bit. So we're going to roll through here. There's a huge bump on the outside there, and the higher up you get right there, the more it unsettles the car. So you kind of want to try to keep it lower. To avoid that big ugly bump, might as well call it Charlotte Mountain. Alright, we'll uh, come zoom into the line here. Go ahead and keep it in third gear, get a little bit extra maybe. Don't want to do that during the race because then obviously you are at this corner wrong. But, um, interesting. So, 
imagine there's people on their second lap still. It's probably going to be faster, so we're going to drop a couple more spots. Especially like that number six. They had a really fast lap in their uh, qualifying session. So I would expect maybe them to go ahead and overtake us. And if not, uh, if not in qualifying, probably during the race. That's a 26.4 is not so bad. Right about my best time. My best time is 26.2. And that still wouldn't have been pole. So number one's got it figured out. I'm not even like looking at the track, by the way. <laughs> so don't be looking at this for advice. I'm like literally staring at the standings and just kind of glancing at the road. But uh, yeah, fun little place. You don't get to come here very often. So that's always nice. I always like to see some new sights. Even if it is a fairly strange course. And uh, the very beginning of the race is going to be very, 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 very scary. But some Formula V action. Haven't seen too much of uh, this season, so. Alright, get some of that out there. And, uh, by the way, I mentioned, like, uh, we haven't seen the Mazda and stuff. Because, uh, don't feel like retreading already stomped in ground with rookie Mazdas. Um, thanks to some uh, iRacing credits I got during the Christmas season. I have been able to... Uh, purchase some more road stuff and I have some more uh, credits left over still so uh, probably some more uh, road racing in the future which I'm very excited for um, in the past I've always kind of just been buying from the oval side because that's my main thing and I've got most of the oval stuff I want now so um, thanks to uh, the generosity of family I have uh, gotten some iRacing credits over the holidays and can use that for more road stuff and see uh, if I can take it any further on the road side. So very exciting. So like advanced Mazda series, if they start going to tracks that I don't own, I can go ahead and purchase those and maybe do some more Mazda races that aren't just rookie Mazda. That's pretty fun. And of course, I've uh, by the time I've uploaded this, I've uh, uploaded the touring car challenge that I was able to participate in now. Because I bought the Hyundai, I think is how you pronounce it. Hyundai? <laughs> I don't know. But, um, so I'm very slow in those, but that's because I've never done it before. And I bought Knock Hill. So lots of new road stuff coming, I think. And I also bought some more dirt road stuff that I'm going to slowly kind of dip my toes into. Looking forward to that. Are we racing soon? That's the I feel like it's been a while. Yeah, we got two seconds. So... Yeah, looking forward to it. Some more road racing, a little bit more dirt road that I can do in the future. And I still got some credits left over for other stuff, so very, very exciting. What I'm less excited for is the first lap on these cold tires. This first corner is going to be like driving on ice on these cold tires, even though we're not even getting much of a run-up. So I can see getting run over from behind real bad here. Hopefully uh, we'll be okay. And uh, we're already getting going, so... Green, green, green. Alright, we're off. Oh my. I did not expect to be on the inside of the leader already. You have about five laps of Please do not take me too wide through here. Please, for the love of God. Oh, gotta take that so soft. How are we gonna spin? I swear, I almost spun there and I went so slow. That's never gonna work, dude. Yep, someone took him too wide. <laughs> it's never going to work, dude. He's talking about going too wide through that corner. Oh my gosh, this thing is so slick. It's, I mean, I've been doing less Formula V lately, too. So, got to get used to how this feels again. But, uh, it feels like driving on butter. Iced butter. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. It's slippery. So what I'm trying to say. And uh, I would much rather these tires heat up as soon as possible, because that's what happens. That was a guy that was going to beat us, and is no longer going to beat us. So that's a thing. We are not turning. There's also just straight up less grip in the car <laughs> before you start get going here. So that's another thing to remember. But hey, look at this. After the first lap, we are actually in 
P1. Still gonna take this a little easier than I think I need to. Until we uh, feel a little more comfortable. Because you're not gonna win the race by spinning out now, are you? It sounded like I was being mean to the number one. That was not <laughs> aimed at them. <laughs> but uh, more aimed at myself, because I know that I am very liable to do so. But uh, with every lap, we'll get a little bit more grip. And uh, feel a little bit better about what we're doing. Alright. Like I said, you kind of just roll through these corners. You don't really even break much at all. Pretty crazy. Overdrove that a little bit. Shouldn't be too bad. You want to take this wide to get the right angle. And get it on the inside here to avoid that big ugly bump. Mount Charlotte. And we're doing well. Here it gets a little tight. Be sure you don't get on the gas too soon. I always kind of underdrive it, I think. But doing alright. And make sure you go the right direction here. Because I'm not going to lie to you. In practice, I <laughs> forgot where I was for a moment. And like drove off the track and all weird. So uh, make sure you're following the track. That's generally a good idea. Did not take that very well. Tires are starting to uh, warm up. So I'm going to have to get used to how that feels. Oh, almost hit that wall there, but we're good. I found that you can kind of drive down here. I don't know if it's much faster or not, but it doesn't unsettle the car too much. So until I find out otherwise and wreck one of these times, I guess that's okay to do. Messed up the angle on that. Definitely not hitting my best laps at the moment. Probably should be if I want to keep the lead. Alright. That felt pretty good. A little bit of a lift there to make sure I'm entering this corner at the right angle. Oof, a little bit of Mount Charlotte there. Uh, get a good lift for this corner. Make sure that we are going to make it. Second gear might be an option right there. I experimented with it in, uh, in practice. And it kind of felt good sometimes, but what generally just happened was is it really upset the car and made me more likely to make a mistake. So I kind of decided I'm just going to keep it in third like th right there. I don't really lose all that much time, and it's much more stable. So I kind of chose third gear through there. Almost overdrove that. I'm so bad through that corner. Are they catching me because of how I took that? 1.2, and it's pretty even. I imagine they're going to have some draft once we get on some of these straights, so I'm going to have to keep it uh, moving forward if I want to keep this lead. Make sure I hit my breaking points, or, you know, lifting points. <laughs> not even breaking points if you're not hitting the brake, now is it? Still messing up the angles a little bit, not too bad though. And it's real easy to kind of get your left tires off if you enter incorrectly, take a little bit, a little bit uh, too much speed through there. You have to watch out. There, that's how I want to take that, you see all that green. All right, feeling good. Hey, look at this, all-time best lap coming up. That's what I need to do if I want to keep this lead. Looks like we got about two seconds now. All right. Let's not do the thing where I wreck. I'm all too familiar with that. We're doing pretty well. I thought I took it a little too shallow, but it seems we're okay. Kind of have to be brave through that corner. It's almost like you're hitting the accelerator while you're pointed at a tire barrier, which is very scary. <laughs> but uh, if you trust the car will turn, you can make it through there pretty fast. So long as the car does actually turn. See, that's the trick. <laughs> Alright, I usually lift off right before that 
outside curb right there, and that'll bring me around here, and then I can kind of gas on exit. If I don't mess up the angle like I did just there, you can get on the gas again pretty early here, so long as you don't go out too wide and hit your tires on the grass. Here you can take flat out, but I usually lift off a little bit just to make sure I can get the right angle and to mount Charlotte. That's what I'm calling this corner. And this one, it generally seems like the more to the inside, the better. And then I make sure I lift before I get to that uh, outside curb when I get to that corner. And it all seems to be working pretty well for me. I guess I should be expecting my lap times to be getting better. They theoretically should as more tire, or more, <laughs> more tire, more fuel is... Uh, used up. There's less weight to pull around out here. Mm, got on it a little soon there, but we're okay. Uh-oh. I had to take that really safe because I didn't know what I was going to see coming around that corner, so we lost a ton of time. That's unfortunate. But, uh, much prefer to do that than uh, run into a guy that spun. Now we gotta work. We gotta do some more work to get uh, some space. And that's not how to get done. I just totally missed that corner. Alright, gotta get back on it. Can't let this guy catch me. You know, the guy that's catching me. Can't let that guy catch me. You can't win a race if a guy finishes in front of you. Little known fact. Little known fact. Winning race means you win race. Not winning race means you no win race. He's within, uh, he's gonna get a lot to draft now. This is not good. That, uh, lap car did not do good things for me. Yeah, he's here. He takes that first turn really well. Much better than I can. Hope he's ready to hit the brake. Okay, because I take that a little too soft, probably. Just kind of had to trust he was not going to run at the back of me there. And I don't like trusting other people. Okay, Colton. It doesn't work out often enough for me. No mistakes. <laughs> oh, he's driving through the grass to catch me. That's neat. Neato burrito. Is he gonna run me over? He looks like he's ready. Left side. Clear on the left. Please don't spin me. Good lord. I'm scared now. I was uh, having a happy old good drive, and then all of a sudden he's here. And that draft is going to make it to where he's going to probably be able to make a move on me into this first corner. That's the thing I hate most about these Formula Bs, the draft. There's so much draft. Car right, 126.3. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the right. Just going to let him have it. And, uh, maybe try to make a move later. He's daring. He got real close to those tires. He saw it. <laughs> maybe he's better than me. Maybe, uh, he just needed a second to warm up. Maybe get around some guys. Might uh, be the one that deserves the win. We'll see. Do my best to keep up with him. Stay mistake free. Uh oh, overdrove that. Okay, we'll cut down. Be fine. And thankfully, the draft goes two ways. Even if I lose some time to him through here, I will catch right back up so long as I'm somewhat within the zip code next to the draft. So, we're, uh, we're going to be just fine. Alright, ooh, wheel's kind of complaining at me. Real nice work. This is the white flag. White flag, ah. 
Man, he got a much better run off there, too. Not what I like to see. Well, I guess he's going to win. <laughs> what flag? What flag? The next car's the lead up. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. We'll give it a shot. We'll try to catch back up. Not going to wreck anyone for, for the win, though. Maybe the pressure will get to him. Look at me. Chewy.com. Formula V back here being scary. Oh, is he going to catch me? I don't know. I'll drive in the grass like he did a little bit. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. Yours might actually be a little worn, too. Usually not a problem, but there's lots of, uh... The turning to do at this track, so the tires actually kind of matter. Yeah, I think he's better than I am. He's kind of making it through. He's getting it done. Good go. Second gear. No. <laughs> hey, we gave it our best shot. We're uh, hitting the best lap. <laughs> Good win, too. Nicely done. He looked happy. <laughs> Appreciate it, Rich. Yeah. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Alright, so we survived and had a nice finish. I just went ahead and conceded it to him because I didn't want him to have to make a crazy dive or anything. I thought he was going to stick it uh, on the inside when that happened. We'll go ahead and go uh, look at it. Yeah, make it through there. I could have defended. But I think uh, it was pretty clear that he was faster anyway. So if he wasn't going to do it right there, he was going to get it done anyway. So what I kind of chose to do is just take it wide, get a good runoff. And uh, I guess it was uh, less about the draft than I initially thought. He was just faster than I was. So uh, me complaining about the draft, I should have been complaining about being slow. Yeah, I see him coming up. He has a run. He's going to stick it in there whether I am there or not. So, that's kind of why I did that. Might have seemed really passive, but uh, yeah, let him have it. He was taking a lot more risks than I was willing to make. You know, I mean, you saw him, like, go off in the grass and uh, use the grass to turn here. Like, you can do that, and it's clearly making him go pretty fast. But, uh, I'm just, I'm not quite willing to uh, make as many risks. You see how close he gets to the tires compared to how close I get to it. You know, he's going to be faster doing that, but uh, I just don't want to throw away my, my podium, you know, by missing my mark. So I'm very, uh, I'm very okay with finishing second. All right, so it was a good race. Let's, uh, let's see where the incidents happened. We'll see the crashes at the start that I promise you are there. Now, the one had a pretty poor launch. Or maybe he was letting go. I don't know what happened. I think maybe he missed a shift right there. When he had to concede the inside to me. And uh, eventually he gets back in front of me, but then loses it. So we're just going to go ahead and watch this, I think. Actually, you know what? It's going to show up anyway. So we'll uh, take a look at what else happened. So, yep, two wide's not going to work. That guy on the inside's going to run into him. Oh, multiple people run into him. Yeah, this, I'm telling you, I don't even think it's possible. I really don't. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get a track blocker. This is why I qualified. Because I guarantee you there's at least one person back here that braked properly and lost every chance at having a good finish because they had to stop for it. Yep. Lost all that time. They, they went through there kind of fast still. But uh, still lost a ton of time. So that's why I feel like even though it's scary, you kind of have to qualify and then uh number one just uh guess didn't respect the cold tires enough they got them you did a good job to keep it off the wall but you know that's so much time you lost did we uh yeah we had zero x i feel pretty good about that so uh we uh got done what happened to peter 
I don't see anything. Why are we seeing that? I'm waiting for someone to hit one of these walls while snaking through. Your eventual winner really drove through the field, so he was definitely the fastest guy out here. Maybe other than the one? I'm not sure where the one is at this point, but uh, him and the one were clearly the fastest guys. Number one and number two, go figure. But, uh, I think some of these elevation changes are causing the incidents to pop up whenever they don't really need to. So, that's nothing there. Ooh. Wow. Oh my god, I thought he was going to save it. The leader almost, or the winner, almost got taken out right here. That could have been in the end of the race for the winner. We would have ended up winning, probably. <laughs> Crazy how uh, things can change. He's kind of sitting on the track now. Good of him not to cut in front of someone. So we, uh, you got to do it. Peter's following us. Yeah, we're seeing that part of the course for some reason pretty often. Is the uh, number two going to use that inside? Yeah, willing to use that. Uh, it's actually not grass at Charlotte. It's whatever... Uh, what have you called a fake grass or whatever? AstroTurf? I don't know. That's a, they actually replaced their infield grass with the AstroTurf. So you can actually get away with that a little bit better than you could other times. So maybe I should have tried that a little bit more. That, however, is real grass, and that is a barrel. That's real grass. Pretty sure. Peter's still following us. Still showing that for some reason. It really was well done by the number two. They really drove through all the way through the field. Got up to us. They just, uh, they must have had a, I don't know, did they not qualify? No, they did. They just uh, had a rough qualifying, maybe. And uh, they made it up in the race. It was very well done. Here's the number one making his way back forward. This guy is the guy that had the really fast lap in practice. Ended up finishing sixth. Not sure what happened. He might have been caught in one of those wrecks early on. Didn't really pay attention. Seeing them in the pits, I guess. Not sure why. Just coming out of the pits. Oh no, is it stuck on him now? Okay, no, we're good. gonna have to skip through that part, I think, because uh, it's showing it for no reason. We're still making our way through the incidents pretty quick, though. It wasn't a very long race, of course. But seeing stuff we don't need to see. Like a taxi Formula V. Just curious. Uh-oh, that's some real carnage. What's happening? So that guy went off and then rejoined in a dangerous spot is what I'm, I'm thinking here. Yeah, so he went off. I mean, he might not have had a choice. Yeah, he had no grip. That stinks. Yeah, so that wasn't even a case of rejoining improperly. He just overdrove it, and then once he's in here, he probably has almost no control over where he's going. Yeah, I think he probably would have been better off just letting it roll instead of slamming on the brakes in front of the guy. Probably would have been better letting it roll out to the outside, but uh, he kind of slams on his brakes in front of the guy, but that's a lot of decision making in a very short amount of time, so it's easy to say in retrospect. There are a couple things here. You see it. guess this is another nothing. Clean overall, here comes the, uh, the two. Is this the lap that he came and overtook us? You can see him catching up with that draft, though. So it's it's not a non-factor, but he was clearly faster than us anyway. And so it wasn't this lap. But you see how daring he is driving in there? Just much more daring than I'm willing to be. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. So he uh, comes and gets us the next lap, I believe. 
Yeah, here he is. You see how close he is now. So he'll uh, make up that little extra bit through draft, and it'll be enough uh, for him to get close enough for us to get worried and say, "All right, go ahead and make that move. I'll give it to you." Because clearly he was going to pass me either way. He was either going to wreck me to do it. Not saying anything about him. It was just if we start racing hard, I think it's what's going to happen. Or we're going to lose a bunch of time. Maybe get caught by Peter back here. So, you know, I'll uh, follow him. Maybe see if I uh, can catch back up to him on the white flag lap or something. But he was too fast. Too good. So, any more collisions? It's not looking like it. So I believe this is the end of the race. Coming to the checkered, I believe. Close finish for third. Number, you know, P4 almost caught and uh, caught up to the purple dude. Or is this the last lap? Maybe it wasn't. Should probably pay attention to how many laps the race is, so I know what I'm talking about <laughs> during the incidents. See, drivers driving in pretty hard. Almost looks a little bit too hard there. Kind of lost it on the runoff. And then, is this coming to the line? Yeah, this is when he does his little celebration. Woo! <laughs> so, yeah, it was a good race. He, uh, he bested me. He had faster lap times. And he uh, made up the difference during the race. So he earned the win. Nah, people just finishing it out here. Doesn't look like there's much to see. Alright, so that's that. So, pretty fun! Um... Interesting course. I don't know if uh, I don't really don't know what if, if I can say I like it or dislike it. It's just kind of a crazy weird course that uh, I've only seen the Formula V go to a couple times. I don't think it's always on the schedule, but uh, very interesting, especially off the starts and uh, did pretty well. Finished where we started. Led a lot of laps. That was pretty cool. But uh, two two bested us. They had the better pace, so not too upset about it. Really enjoy my silver medal and uh, had a fun race. So I hope it was entertaining for not just me, but you as well. And I'll see you next time at a new place with a new car, probably. <laughs> see you then.